How to force a remap of sectors reported in SMARTC5, current pending sector count? The SMARTC5 value of my Samsung Home 640 JJ hard drive, in an HP Pavilion DV6 laptop, is yellow status equals caution. C5 was 10 yesterday, and it's 21 today. C4, reallocation event count, equals 0, and, O5, reallocated sectors count, equals 0. How can I force the firmware to reallocate them? I removed the partitions, recreated them again and formatted the entire drive. I ran, chkdsk slash r slash f. I ran the BIOS disk check utility and other diagnose slash repair tools. Short answer, write something new to the sector, even zeros, which a long format does. Long answer. Hard drives today try to hide bad sectors from the host computer. The host computer simply asks the drive to return the contents of a particular sector number. Normally the drive reads the sector, returns it to the host machine, and everything is fine. The hard drive knows if the value it read is valid or not, because the drive uses error correcting code, ECC, to validate that the contents it read are correct. If the drive detects that the contents of the sector are invalid, it will retry the read. The hope is that if it simply reads it again, it might get the correct sector contents. It will keep retrying until it gets a good value, or it's reached its time limit, formerly known as the Command Completion Time Limit, or CCTO. During these retries, the drive will appear dead, as it is no longer responding to commands. Spare Sectors Most modern drives contain a number of spare sectors, for example 1024 spare sectors. If the drive recognizes a sector as bad, it will stop using it. Any requests to re or write to that damaged sector will transparently be redirected to a spare sector. This marking off of a bad sector, and reallocating its data to a spare sector, is called a reallocation event. And the total number of sectors that have been reallocated, and so how many of your spare sectors have been used up, is the reallocated sector count. In this example from one of my own hard drives, 64 sectors were found to be bad. That means that 64 of the drive's spare sectors have been called into use. On this same hard drive, there have been four reallocation events. This means that there were four occasions where the drive marked sectors as bad, and used spare sectors instead. What if it can't ever read the data? These actions of rereading sectors, consuming spares, all behind the computer's back is a good thing. It means the host operating system doesn't have to deal with the issue of failing sectors. The drive itself can handle those details itself. Bonus chatter, in the olden days, your hard drive shipped with a sticker fastened to it. This sticker contained the factory defect list, the list of all known bad spots on the drive. If you performed a low-level format of the drive, you had to use a tool to type in all the cylinder head sector locations of the bad spots. SCSI drives have a command, iupto underscore disk underscore reassign underscore blocks, to tell them to reallocate a bad spot on the drive after the operating system detects it. In iDrives this all happens automatically, without the need for operating system intervention. Ideally the drive would recognize the sector is failing, move the data to a spare sector, and never use the original sector again. But what happens if the drive hasn't been able to read the sector successfully? This is what, pending sectors, are. 
the drive has detected that a sector is failing, and needs to be remapped to a spare. But it cannot do that until it can successfully read the data. When the drive knows that a sector is bad, and needs to be remapped, but it cannot do it yet because it's waiting to get a good read from the sector, that's called the pending sector count. My hard drive has two sectors that the drive recognizes as bad, but cannot be reallocated yet. If you were to read one of these pending sectors, the drive would likely retry, and retry, and retry, and eventually return a red error to the host operating system. Give up on the pending sector and it will get reallocated. There are two ways that the drive can finally reallocate the sector, and consume another spare sector. It finally gets a good read. You don't care what's in the sector anymore. If the drive finally read the sector, then it knows that it can reallocate the sector. The other way the drive can reallocate the sector is if you let it know that the contents of that sector are irrelevant, that you don't care what's in it anymore. How do you do that? by writing something new to the sector. Whenever you read from, or write to, a sector on a hard drive, you have to read slash write the entire 512 byte sector 1. You are not able to write only part of a sector. When the OS writes data to a sector, it has to specify the entire 512 bytes. If you tell the hard drive that you want these new contents to replace this bad sector, the drive then knows you don't even care what's currently in the bad sector. It can then reallocate a bad sector to one of the spares, and the sector is no longer pending. This is why when people ask about having some, current pending sectors, the common advice is to use a tool, such as Western Digital's Data Lifeguard, to write all zeros to the drive. By writing zeros to every sector on the drive, you are telling the drive that it can finally reallocate all those pesky pending sectors. After the wipe, all your pending sectors will become reallocated sectors. Note, it's not strictly necessary to use a low-level tool like Western Digital's Data Lifeguard, if you instruct Windows perform a full format, i.e. non-quick format, of a volume, it will write zeros to every sector in the volume. The OS filing system supports marking sectors as bad. Armed with this knowledge, we'll explore a commonly confusing scenario. Before the advent of integrated drive electronics, i.e. The host operating system was responsible for detecting bad sectors, retrying the reads, moving data to another sector, and marking old sectors as bad. If you were to run a chkdsk slash rc column, using the host operating system, it would recognize that the pending sectors are bad, and mark them as bad itself, and never try to use them again. So assuming a 512-byte sector hard drive, 12 kilobits of pending sectors or in this example 12 kilobits marked by the OS as bad sectors, that would correspond to decimal 24 or hexadecimal 0 by 18 as would be shown by a SMART disk utility such as crystal disk information. Note. Western Digital's Data Lifeguard v1.31, latest as of August 31, 2017, utility does not appear to show the current SMART raw counter values correctly. Now if you perform a full format, which writes zeros to every sector in the volume,
That means all those sectors that were pending are going to get reallocated. It is now safe for the filing system to use those sectors again. In order to instruct the filing system that those sectors are no longer bad, you perform an option where it reevaluates bad sectors. Where the command documentation says. Or. According to this URL. This was a whole load of writing, and a whole load of screenshots, for something that will never be read. You don't need to do anything, yet. The reallocation count means DISC found defective sector and successfully reallocated it. The firmware already fixed the issue. You just need to be aware that the drive is starting to fail. At some point in the future, the drive won't have spare sectors left for the reallocation and you will lose data. If some important block is lost, you might lose all the data on the drive. So keep an eye on this value or buy a new drive right away so you can forget about it. I had good experience with the method described here this URL. My disk was making noise and stopped working so I used smart report and the formula to calculate the bad block and use DD to clear it. I was lucky because smart is still reporting a current sector count but the disk is working since two years or so. I did bought a replacement but I've never used it. It seems to me that smart isn't that accurate either. You cannot force the firmware to reallocate your pending sectors as there might be not enough spare sectors for reallocation. But overridding the content of a pending sector the firmware learns that its content is abandoned and will try to remap that sector if possible. In the Windows world you can use an outdated version of the Western Digital Tool which is writing zeros to every sector. WD limited the zeroing support for new versions of this tools by not allowing to zeroing out a full drive, for undisclosed reasons. Smile. In the Linux world you would use DD or Dresku writing a stream of zeros inputting from the zero device. DD if equals slash dev slash zero of equals slash dev slash SDX. Where X denotes the drive to be erased. I removed the partitions, recreated them again and formatted the entire drive. I ran chkdsk slash r slash f I ran the BIOS disk check utility and other diagnose slash repair tools. Except for partitioning and quick formatting the drive afterwards the rest of your operations is unnecessary. Ian Boyd, first answer, is wrong right from the start when stating. Spare sectors. Most modern drives contain a number of spare sectors, for example 1024 spare sectors. If in GT, the drive recognizes a sector is bad, it will stop using it. Any request to read or Write to that damaged sector will transparently be redirected to a spare sector. No. A read request does not trigger the remapping of sector, only a write request can do that assuming there are spare sectors left. Any following read attempts will try to get information out of the sector in question unless there is no write operation on this sector. This is the reason why a drive on the operating system seems to hang when experiencing such a situation. As for the post of Estevan TH, about HDD Sentinel which claims to repair hard disk drive problems I pretend that there is no repair for hardware problems such as pending sectors and software. Remapping is not repair. For file system problems you have your chkdsk command on a Windows machine. Any free smart monitoring software can monitor changes at the hardware level but there is not necessarily a smart warning before any drive failure. As for the post of Dan Watts, Spin right now brings its legendary data recovery and drive maintenance magic to the latest file systems. Due to the advertised drive maintenance magic I consider it as much as snake oil as I do for HDD Sentinel. 
Full format does not necessarily trigger a remapping of a pending sector because it works on file system level inside a partition. There could be other partitions containing pending sectors. The space between partitions can contain pending sectors, although rarely been read, and finally other structures like MBR and party owned tables can contain pending sectors as well. As for the post of Chris Abbott, modern drive are not being low level formatted by operating systems. Writing zeros to a sector has to be considered as a high level operation. Low level takes places when you are able to write the full content of a sector including the information the operating system never sees. This will involve more than the typical 512 or 4096 bytes of today's sectors and is being handled by the firmware of the drive. If you want to support, please consider subscribing.